Today, I'm going to create a simple yet interesting Hall Effect sensor project using easily available components. For this project, we'll need a mini breadboard, which is perfect for prototyping small circuits without soldering. The first component is a one Kellum resistor, which I'll insert into the breadboard. This resistor will help limit the current in the circuit, preventing the LEDs from burning out. The next component is the Hall Effect sensor. I salvaged this sensor from an old CPU fan where it was used to monitor the fan's speed and magnetic fields. The sensor's original pins were very short, so I soldered longer wires to each pin for easy insertion into the breadboard. You might notice a bit of solder on the pins from this modification, but that won't affect the functionality. After that, I'll add two LEDs of different colors to the circuit, one red and one yellow, to indicate the magnetic field's polarity. The red LED will light up for one polarity, while the yellow LED will light up for the opposite polarity. Now that the circuit is assembled, it's time to power it. I'll connect a 9-volt battery to the breadboard, with the positive terminal going to the positive rail and the negative terminal to the ground rail. As soon as the power is connected, the yellow LED turns on, indicating the sensor's initial state in the absence of a magnetic field or with a default polarity. To test the circuit, I'll bring a magnet near the Hall effect sensor. Initially, nothing happens. The yellow LED stays lit. However, when I reverse the magnet's polarity and bring it close to the sensor, the yellow LED switches off and the red LED turns on. This shows that the Hall effect sensor can detect different magnetic polarities and trigger different outputs based on them. This experiment not only demonstrates the principle of the Hall effect sensor, but also shows how it can be used in practical applications like contactless switches, motor control, or security systems.